Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes again from Farm Investigation UK. Today's date, 11th of February 2022. And this one is going to get incredibly interesting because there are multiple events that I need to cover on here. Um, before we move on to the 31st of July, I need to just quickly cover the 28th of July Um this was at something like um, 3.37 in the morning. For some reason, the sensor light switches on. And obviously, that's what triggers the, um, the alert on the camera system. And it stays on for the remaining of the, uh, of the footage. Um, it doesn't happen that often. Um... But I think it was on a couple of days before. It might, have, might have actually been a, might have been a week before. Um, yeah, on the twenty second July, the camera then, um, after midnight, began to trigger up about a dozen or so alerts from the same same situation. Now. I'm actually going to record this event because it actually did occur, although rationality tells me that this possibly could be just simply down to the fact that it's switched on for whatever reason, um, which it does. There's no sound, nothing else that indicates that. And this was actually on the, the 28th of uh, July. So I will record that. We now come to the 31st of July and things are about to get interesting. Now, the situation of the relationship with our body owner is that if anything occurs, anything occurs, including the first experience, or he's, he tells me straight away uh, what I'm after his exact times of things are occurring and what's actually happened. I don't like being told a couple of days after events. I want to know straight away. And if necessary, is as he has done on the occasions, he's phoned me. So, you know, this is, this is what just happened. What can we do? So, on this occasion, when the owner was actually uh, in, the, in the building there, uh, which you've captured on camera, there was a bang. And that's probably probably four inches in height, uh, about half full of lens cleaner. Just it's a couple of foot away, bang! It just just drops over. Now we have had some weird stuff going on there. Now it, very difficult in an office environment if something falls over, where you can you know is it suggestive? <sighs> you'd have to be stretching it to say that it's undoubtedly paranormal but because of the way that the building uh, is so active I tend to want to record everything so it's just there so we can't see it on footage but we do hear it bang uh, which the owner acknowledges on the actual medium so that's, that's, if, that's that event the first event that actually occurs on the 31st of um, of July. And the 31st, let's have a look what day that is. It's a Saturday. Okay, so it's a Saturday. Then things get quite interesting. Because I'm going to show you This camera. Um, let me just look at this one a second. Yeah, yeah. This is the hallway. In the far corner is that camera. It's a fixed camera um, screwed into the wall. It's been there, I don't know, October 2020. 
around that time. Nearly two years. And it's captured stuff. You've seen it yourself. Um, this one here. That one there is camera, same camera. Oh, this is the same camera. But it moves. The camera actually moves. Um, so that's, I need to map these uh, times out. That's the, yeah. That's, so if that's the first one, second one, and I think that's the third one. That's 1957, 2025, 2024. So this is the first one first. First one first, as a, a good one. As a recap, the camera that, that's now on is that camera there. Okay. It begins to move to the right. You have to look very, very careful, and it's a very subtle movement. Now, we're not too sure what's actually happening there because there's no real it can go up and down but it can't go left to right uh, there is like a, a, me a screw mechanism that will lift the camera up and down but it certainly doesn't turn left to right and we have no explanation why this occurs and because of the movement it's triggered the camera and because it's seen a change in the environment Push all the way through. What I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to speed it up. Because this is where you see it moving. It's more. It's a very subtle, gradual movement of um, of speed. So now we're speeding it up, we should see it a lot more clearer. You probably use this as a as your guide. So back to the beginning. What I'll do. Let me uh, I'll put the cursor there. We'll see how far it moves. Mm, the cursor doesn't stay moving there. So undoubtedly the camera moves. There is no sound at all and this is a 1957 then obviously it stops Twenty twenty five. This is twenty twenty four, the one before it. Now the camera now is completely uh, moved. Um,
Now, what I think has happened here, um, go back to the first movie. The infrared is fully engaged. Um, lit up the old area in grayscale. Now the camera's infrared is sort of practically come off, and I think the reason why that is it, the reflection on the on the side. Uh, an infrared camera will only emit as much light as it does actually need. Um, yeah, this is the one that it moves. So it seems to be gradually moving over a period of time. Yeah, you can see it moving, moving. Just keep your eye, eye on that, you'll see that moving there. And it drops away. That's it, 2026. And before that, is 2024. Um, what appears to put is 2024. This is the first, the first one where we, be, you know, we obviously begin to see the um, the camera moving to the right. That's it, 1958. It seems to have stopped. Then at 2024, this one comes into play. It, the camera is beginning to move again. This is where we see the shadow. Go back a bit. There's a shadow it crosses. There. there. There's a shadow. And it seems to cover. I'm not sure if it's crossed the camera. the camera there come through uh, and it's blocked the light off and that's the reason why everything dips uh, it's certainly certainly certain to suggest that there. again no noise is apparent that's it 2024 and it starts to move again so in space of a minute 
it moves the shadow, then the um, the big movement. Um, so the way I think I will play with this. Um, Okay. I'll do the first one of the movie maker. Um, what am I actually going to do? I'm going to save a small amount of um, of footage of it actually moving, uh, and I'm actually going to speed it up. Okay. Let's see what I can get this to. So this is speeded up. Okay, we now been getting the the next one. Uh, which is the shadow man one. I'll just line you the one up ready. Which is that one? Like allow that to configure. In fact, I'm I'm not I'm put it on times eight speed. Okay, so what we need to do is go locate where the shadow is there. We split it and we speed this up, this one, uh, times eight again. And this is where we see the shadow. Okay, I'll just slow that bit down. Okay, we'll speed that one up. And 
do the same with that one. So what we should see now is the uh, all of it <coughs> a curving, such as the the camera moving, shadow man, slow speed, camera moving quickly, camera falling. Um, It falls over. So, have we seen this, the first shadow? Certainly, shadow covers across there. Um, what I'll do is let me just copy that. We'll go back at the end again. And it seems to be a long video, this one. Um, let's get the shadow. This is shadow. Let's see if we can get any brightness out of this. Certainly appears to be a shadow. Um, go most intriguing so um, right well uh, if you've got any thoughts on this one um, please um, send us an email contact us via Facebook message or just comment and uh, all of your uh, messages do go, get, get answered so that, that's incredibly intriguing um, event and it was based over quite some period so um, that's the second one so this is the first one so this is occurs at 1957 1957 that's the second one 1957 2025 so almost 30 minutes apart the camera moves over a period of 30 minutes before completely falling uh, and we've got this strange um, shadow anomaly that's in there as well um, and that camera there the other camera that picks it up, that camera there. Um, so another strange event at the uh, 
in the hallway at Chester. Okay, oh, we enjoyed that one. It's always been a bit of a long one, but it's quite a lot of stuff to get uh, to get through with that. So it's going to take me a little bit of a while to uh, write that one up in the uh, in the diary. Okay, see you on the next one. Bye.